Hey, what is up you guys? So something that I have been super conscious of lately is the lack of aesthetics on my Instagram feed. I know you're probably thinking that is the most first world problem you could possibly have. And you are right. But aesthetics has become such a big thing on Instagram now. Like it's not just posting photos or sharing your pictures anymore. Like every single photo has to have this super nice aesthetic that like works together. Guys, if you follow my Instagram, you know that it is not not killing it at the aesthetics game. My Instagram is running away, running for the hills, away from the aesthetics game because it is failing so hard. So in order to figure out how we do this Instagram aesthetics thing, I took a few pictures from some of my favorite YouTubers Instagrams and I think that they have like the most aesthetic Instagram feeds that I have ever seen. So one of the YouTubers whose photos I'm going to try to recreate is Edward Avila. The next one is Hey It's Faye. And the third one is Edward Zoe. I love all three of these people's posts, but I wish I could do the same thing. So today we're gonna try to do that. All right, so the first photo that we're going to be recreating is this one. Seems pretty simple. Faye is standing up against a garage. Seems doable. It seems doable, guys. I think I can do this one. Um, I've got a big sweatshirt on like she's wearing. I'm gonna put on some like little booty heel things and we are gonna just go outside and try. But you guys, the thing is, is that literally, Everybody in the freaking world is outside right now because I picked like the most beautiful day ever to do this. You know, just, just casually taking photos of myself out in the open for everyone to see. Okay, so I don't have any leaves or anything to like make shadows like Faye did. Um, and I don't have anyone to hold leaves to make shadows either. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a classic uh, film major thing and fix it in post and there's a bug near my tripod, bye. Yo, these bugs, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, so I mean, she was kind of like off center, right? Like, hold on, I gotta double check. She's got her leg behind her. She's holding up her thing a little bit, okay. And she's kinda like, we're gonna try this, okay. I think I'm like blown out right now too, like crazy. We're gonna have to fix a lot in post, guys. <gasps> It's so hard to stand like this. Girl, how'd you do it? We're gonna try our own pose real quick. What we learned is my sweatshirt is not long enough to be a dress. Uh, I'm probably slightly taller than Faye. I don't think much taller than Faye, but um, yeah. Pulling up the sweatshirt was not a good idea for me. Uh, mine's a tad bit shorter. Your girl was exposing a little too much leg. Um, and I apparently cannot do that pose she did. Um, and girl, the poses I came up with were not good. It's not too late to have an aesthetic Instagram feed. It's not too late. Let's try again. This Edward Zoe post where he's got this vampire thing going on. But girl, I don't have one of those cute black hats. So, um, I think, God forbid, please don't get triggered, but we are about to break out something that has been away for a long, long time. My fedora from middle school. <laughs> First of all, let's just take a moment to um, bring this back from the dead, uh, pay our respects to this. Um, it is covered in dust, that's nice. I think that the best part of this is um, this nice little like tattoo detail on the side. I was really fly in middle school, what can I say? Okay, it's not that bad when you can't see the top of it. If you could just walk around in public like this, it's kind of a look. But then you're like, and then it's ruined. So we're just gonna get this vampire look going. On a regret doing this on my camera and not in a mirror. I regret everything. I'm gonna try to fix it and come back. So I wish I had the piercing blue eyes like Edward Zoe, but I don't, I don't have contacts. Uh, so I'm gonna try to edit that in post, fix it in post, moral of this video. Um, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Well, let's just try to get this pose. I think this, I don't look nearly as good as him with this, but you know, let's just give it a go. He's got his head tilted a little. He's doing this like lip thing, like, I don't even know if I can do it. I'm trying to get a little, a little bang like Edward Zoe. All 
right, this next Edward Avila post, he is sipping on some coffee or something, looking aesthetic. This was a candid photo, but you know what? I'm gonna pose for mine and be taking it of myself on my DSLR. <laughs> Instead of having somebody else take the nice photo for me because, girl, there's no one else here. It's just me. Okay, so next we are trying to recreate this Edward Avila cafe post. We are not in a cafe. I don't have fancy coffee from Korea, but I do have this drink from Starbucks and uh, newsflash, it tastes bad, but I'm doing it for the Instagram. Also, like, I don't know where Edward Avila got his, uh, leather jacket from, but this one's actually from Korea and they both have the zippers on the sleeves and they both look like fairly identical here. I don't think they're exactly the same, but they're so close, so weird. Perfect, picks the perfect photo. So Edward's like a total natural when it comes to posing. So we're gonna try to imitate this. He's got like his glasses like this, holding his drink. You can see the zipper in his. His zippers must be on top. But like, let's give this a go, okay. So he's kind of like hunched over, like looking like this. And kind of holding the drink like this. So basically I can't possibly match Edward Beale's aesthetics, but you know, we tried, we got a nasty tea and we conquered, kinda. And then this one, I wanted to just recreate this Edward Avila photo. Um, his is the only Instagram where I'm doing two. I love him. I, it's pretty obvious. He's great. His YouTube channel is so funny. So like seriously, please check him out. He's amazing. Like seriously, YouTube inspiration. He's gonna be in like a music video thing where he sings and girl, I am so ready to hear him sing. But um, he's gonna be in this music video. So we like shared a picture from it. He's in a bathtub, you know, classic, K-pop. You're always sitting in bathtubs. It's just the usual. And uh, he's holding a nice old, you know, vintagey television. Um, well, your girl's just gonna hold a dusty modern TV and hope it's good enough. Um, this one I'm really not taking seriously. I just thought it'd be funny. This picture is gonna turn out the best and the most aesthetic looking because it's the one that I was just like, this will be funny if I do it and it's gonna look the best. I can almost guarantee it. So we're just gonna get the TV in here. This TV is dusty. AF. We're gonna hope I don't. <laughs> Guys, I told you I was gonna break out the freaking TV for this bad boy. He's looking down. This arm is up. This arm is grasping the television. The leg is sort of wrapped around the TV as well. We're gonna try this. Um, I think his TV was a little bit smaller than mine. <laughs> Get at me. Okay. So. <clears throat> Never mind, this is not gonna be aesthetic at all. We're gonna ditch the TV. Just casually sit in the TV in the tub. This would be really bad if I accidentally turned this on. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna hope that's good enough. Queen of aesthetics. All right, now let's uh, let's get the let's get the TV out of the tub. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching it. I really appreciate it. Um, I just wanted to kind of have some fun with the idea of Instagram being aesthetic because since aesthetics aren't really my thing, I thought, you know what, I might as well own it. So guys, seriously, I'm so impressed by these three's Instagram feeds. It all looks great and all fits a theme. And like that honestly takes a lot of skill. Like I'm not even kidding. Like that's not sarcastic at all. Like it takes a lot of skill. First of all, to take quality looking photos like that. Second of all, to pose and look bomb AF in all your pictures. Three, also to edit the photos, to bring out the colors and things like that. That takes talent, obviously. And just to find good locations and always just kind of be like, thinking about making your Instagram feed look good, that can't be easy. And so give them all some recognition. Go like all those photos. I know I do it all the time. So if you want your eyes to be graced with some super aesthetic photos, check those out. Their Instagrams and YouTube channels will be in the description down below. Follow my Instagram as well, which will be in the description down below. If you want to see a non-aesthetic Instagram feed, <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm really selling myself well here today. But anyways, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you learned how to have an aesthetic Instagram or if you learned how not to have an aesthetic Instagram. And hit that subscribe button down below if you're new here. I'd really, really appreciate it, you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.